Hello everyone. I just wanted to come here and make a video showing you the Chemistry 101 by Westfield Studios. I had a request to do a review on this. And so this is more of a flip through than a review because we have not gone through this completely. But I thought this might be helpful. So it starts off here with a welcome to Chemistry 101 and then getting started. And basically you print the guidebook, which I'll show you in a minute. You print the Chemistry 101 Extended Periodic Table. I actually didn't print this because I have um, a laminated um, periodic table that I that my daughter has, so I didn't print that. Uh, create a Chemistry 101 Notebook, that's here for you. Um, she'll just put her work in the back of this. This is, a, I think, a two or three inch binder. Um, read ahead, that's for um, for the parent, make sure you read ahead. Watch the film and discuss. Mini lab and 200 word reports. And sign off each task. So the parents will sign off each task. Okay, now this is the accreditation um, booklet. It basically is your lesson plans, okay? So for each segment, it tells you exactly what to do. I've gone through and numbered them. That way, when I put it in my daughter's planner, I can say, you know, do number one, do number two and three, etc. Okay, so um, the first thing on each segment will be to watch the DVD. The second thing is read the guidebook on that segment. And the third thing is usually the discussion. In the guidebook, there are discussion questions. I'm actually having my daughter type these out versus discuss them. So we have a written record of them. We'll keep them in this binder. And so, for example, she'll do this one day. She'll do two and three together. Then number four, it says after your mini labs. So she won't do four. She'll do mini lab five and then six and then go back to four. And then um, start a chemistry notebook. That's not really something she needs a separate day for. So I just started that. That's this, like I said. Number seven. And then... Um, Number eight, or the last thing, take the quiz. Now, in each segment, it does have you watch the DVD and read the guidebook a second time. Well, we are actually starting this second quarter of the school year. I needed to cut some things out, so therefore, I cut that out on all of the segments. Although, I told my daughter, if she feels like she doesn't understand it, she is always welcome to watch it again, of course, but I'm not going to assign her to watch it again. Um, and then I just put a note here um, how she should, how I want her to type up her papers. Okay, so again, the DVD, the guidebook, discussion questions, reading and research, mini labs, and then quiz here. And that's how they all go. The mini labs are done on the video. So what I told my daughter to do was when she's watching the DVD, to write down the material she will need for the labs. That way I can make sure I run to the store and get those. So in other words, she might do this, or I'm gonna go back to this one. She's gonna do this Monday. She'll do uh, two and three Tuesday. She, then she'll do mini lab one on Thursday because we have co-op on Wednesday. And then mini lab two on Friday. So between Monday and Thursday, I would have time to get the materials for the mini lab. So. I'm just asking her to write down the materials she needs for the mini labs as she's watching the DVD. Then when she's doing the mini lab, she can go back to it and go to this time here and walk through the lab with the DVD. Now you could combine that all into one if you wanted. You could do this, do the mini labs, but then you don't really know what materials you need. So I thought this would be better suited for us to do it that way. Um, Okay, so, oh, and you'll see that uh, says write a 200 word report. Most of the reports are 200 unless it specifies otherwise. Sometimes you will also see um, to, that you're going to check out some kids books on these topics from the library. Um, see like here, read one to do juvenile or adult library books or web articles of your choice on Ernest Rutherford and his times. So this would also be a great time to have your high schooler when they're 
uh, reading these books. Now it says juvenile or adult, but to get the juvenile ones, and then they could read them to the younger siblings and kind of science time for the younger si siblings plus practice um, reading aloud, which is always good. So I think that's the way we'll do that. Um, and sometimes it does tell you what you need if it's not in the DVD, okay? So then I would, of course, look ahead and know to have those materials. And again, for this, um, that's why it's important to read ahead because you'll know that, oh, you know, I need to check out some library books on this topic, that sort of thing. Um, sometimes it will have you go to websites. Again, checking out some library books there. And so these, you see it pretty much follows the same thing each segment. Uh, draw an illustration of the various models of the atom from the solid billiard ball to the quantum model. Then draw an imaginative, imaginative model of what it may look like in the future. I just think it's really super kind of interesting. I think these labs look fun from what I can tell. Oh, and then there's, I counted there's five field trips in the Chemistry 101. The first one is to go to a pizza parlor with your family. How fun is that? And I just love how they word things here. Any excuse to eat pizza. An isotope is an element in the equal place uh, on the periodic table, but just a bit heavier. This word is related to the word isosceles, meaning equal sides. An isosceles triangle has at least two equal sides, just like a piece of pizza. Therefore, you need to have a field trip to eat pizza tonight and read to your family and friend or friends the paper you did in the reading and research section above. So um, they will be right here. See here, um, research the topic of isotopes, write your report, and conduct the field trip below. So it's a great time for them to read their report. But I just loved that. I just thought that was so awesome. And, and I know my daughter will get a kick out of that. And of course, my other kids will too. Um, here's another example of a mini lab that's not in the DVD that it tells you what you will need. So that's helpful. Um, here's another field trip. You're going to a mineral or gem shop. Another field trip, you're going to a college chemistry lab. Um, let's see, another field trip, you'll be going to a wastewater treatment facility. There was another field trip in here, here it is. Find out where electricity is generated in your area. You know, try to get a tour, that sort of thing. And then I just love this part. If they do not give tours, go to the facility and stop in the front desk and pick up any literature they have. Have a look around and give yourself a tour as much as you can see. Then go have an ice cream cone to help make up for the fact that they wouldn't give you a tour. You can just tell this is written by a homeschool parent because this is, you know, exactly the type of thing that I just think, I just love. And I could see myself saying exactly like that. Well, they won't give us a tour, so let's go have ice cream. You know, obviously ice cream really has nothing to do with this, but um, I just think that little thing right there does, you know, go and get an ice cream cone. I'd say do the tour and go get an ice cream cone, you know, if they will. Um, just brings that little extra blessing to homeschool. You know, those are the memories that your kids are going to take from homeschool. You know, maybe they won't actually remember too much from the electricity field trip, but they'll remember, well, we went out to ice cream after that field trip. You know, it's just this memory making. I just love it. Um, some things here, it will tell you um, to purchase things. I've seen this a couple times in this um, curriculum. So you'll, again, want to read ahead. Purchase a couple of neod neodymium magnets. Okay, I don't know if I said that right. But it gives you some information here and gives you some websites to go to to get those. So again, look ahead and make sure that you are picking up the supplies that you need. Okay, and then it... Um, it doesn't have very much math. There's only one segment that includes math and it's um, molecular mass and balancing equations. And so it does give the answers for those here, but it's this is not math heavy. So if your student is um, you know, maybe not in an advanced math class and they can't handle traditional chemistry class, then this might be a better alternative for them. This is something that it said to print out um, that comes with the curriculum, so I printed that out. And then we have the guidebook and quizzes. And so this is like the textbook, okay? And so it has the table of contents. The first part is the road to the periodic table, then chemistry essentials, then meet the elements, and then the future of chemistry. Okay, there's 19 segments in this. 
Um, but like I was showing you, it's not necessarily going to work out to be a segment a week, although you could do it that way and finish this quickly. Um, but um, this is part one. So this would be all the reading they do. I like this rhyme. That's so cute. I got to write that down. Um, and then these are the discussion questions at the end. And these are the questions I'm going to have my daughter actually type out so we can keep them. But you could just discuss them orally with your student. And then each segment has a quiz. It's a multiple choice quiz. There are the answers on page 114. I have kept the answers myself in a separate binder. Um, but so these quizzes are all the same. Okay, and so then here, I mean, they're all the same as far as being multiple choice and being short like this. So it kind of takes the stress off of chemistry, I feel like, with this curriculum. Again, here's segment two, discussion questions. This is not that much reading and the quiz. And so it just works like that, the whole thing. Okay. I guess this is going over all the elements. Every lesson follows the same format. Uh, we have watched only one part of the DVDs and I found it extremely interesting and engaging. Um, it does look to be a little bit older, but that didn't seem to matter because it was super interesting and really seemed to bring chemistry alive. And when we were watching the videos, my daughter was saying, oh, I wanna do those experiments. But good thing is they are scheduled for you. So you do get to do them. So again, that's how this works. I hope that was helpful. This is you know, a great curriculum for somebody who is not going into a science field, who you want to have just a basic overview of chemistry and um, who maybe isn't strong in math. So those are, you know, kind of the people that this would fit. Um, and it says typically one credit requires 100 to 100, 120 to 180 hours of study. Um, and that is why on these sheets, it tells you the target hours, then you can write the actual hours and then sign off. I'm not too concerned about this. If we finish this, she's going to get her credit. So, but if you wanted to be super, super particular, you can keep track of the hours. So I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna worry about the actual hours. I'm just gonna sign off when she does each thing. Now, would this be enough if your child is a science major or you know wants to be a science major in college? No, no. Um, it doesn't get into a lot of the math and it is, it is nothing compared to BJU chemistry or like apology chemistry or anything like that. But for basic chemistry course for either a non-college bound student or a student not in a science field or a student who's not yet there in math, this is perfect. The DVD is also appropriate for anyone in your family to watch. So therefore, your little if your little kids are around, you don't have to worry about them seeing or hearing something they shouldn't see or hear. This is absolutely appropriate. In fact, they would probably want to watch it. So, um, but again, um, I just love that it has the field trips and the labs and the reading and research and the discussion and the, you know, everything. I just really, really love this, how it's set up, how it's easy to follow. The only thing I would say I would change is I wish these mini labs had the, um, what you need included. So I know it's on the DVD, but I wish they also included it here so that when I, when I'm shopping on the weekend, I could pick those up. So that would be my only complaint but that's not a huge deal. And um, anyways, I really hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know.